USMLE in 2024, is it still worth? This question actually comes a lot to my Instagram message and this is a, this is an intuitive question. If you are starting a long marathon, you want to know, is it really worth my time and efforts? So I would, you know, let me start with my story. So I actually graduated in 2019. I, I did my med school from India, especially West part of India. I did it in Ahmedabad. So I started in 2013. I graduated in 2019. I wasn't sure about USMLE until after my internship and the turning point for me was that I wanted to learn evidence-based medicine. I wanted to learn from a place where the evidence-based medicine originates. So that was my turning point. So after internship, I started preparing for USMLE. It took me a long time. Actually, I, I prepared for step one for one year, then again took one year for step two and then uh, I was applying for observerships and everything. It was a peak of COVID time um, at that time around 2021. Somehow was able to get the observerships and applied for match in 2021. And then I was able to match in you know, that cycle. And I started my residency in 2022. So, you know, that was my overall journey. You know, let me let me put it that way with those days. And if I remember those days where I was preparing for my step one, step two, as well as step three, I would say those were the best learning days of my life. I would say those were the best days where I was actually learning medicine. So I would say, you know, regardless of where you are going to land and where you are practicing right now, if you look at just USMLE step one and step two material, that's what I would recommend to all the doctors, regardless of whether you want to give USMLE or no. So let me reassure you that regardless of what you think the outcome would be wherever you land, if you are preparing for USMLE, if you are using USMLE material, that will never ever go vain. This is going to be always useful to you because you are going to learn a real and true medicine which will help you forever for your life. I am thankful to USMLE that I am able to have the foundational basic science concepts which I am having right now and that's how I am able to teach students. So I am very very thankful to all the USMLE materials which I read. So and ultimately I would say everything bottled down to bottles down to passion. If you are not passionate about USMLE, then probably this is not for you because it's a, it's a marathon. It's not a sprint. It will take, take your time. It will take your efforts. It's going to cost money. So if you are not passionate, if you are just, just finding problems, Hey, this is happening here. This is happening there. This is probably not for you. So if you just believe in yourself, if you believe in me, if you believe in yourself, this is, is something you'll be able to definitely achieve and you can do it. Okay. Now, having said that, we'll talk about pros and cons of USMLE if you are preparing for USMLE right now and if you are weighing that whether or not you should continue or whether you should start your preparation or not. So first of all, pro number one, you'll have a global recognition, right? And USMLE comes with a prestige regardless of what country you go in. If you have passed USMLE steps, that comes with their own prestige and recognition. And although a USMLE is needed for United States, but USMLE is also recognized in other countries as well. So please check out those countries if you are considering other countries apart from USA. The second pro is US is one of the best healthcare system, right? And this is a this is a country which practices evidence-based medicine. It's one of the best healthcare and you have constant guidelines, updates and, you know, constant evolving medicine and it is really fascinating. I'll just, you know, give an example, you know, which happened just today itself. I presented um, our meta-analysis, uh, which was about point of care ultrasound in emergency department. I'll share, you know, photo and our article in the link below in the description that it was an amazing experience. So you are able to showcase your research and everything. It was a great gathering and I was able to present my oral presentation in front of a great audience. So I would say it's one of the best healthcare and it's constantly evolving. So you'll get a chance to practice in a country which actually practices evidence-based medicine. Finally, you'll have many opportunities apart from, you know, just being a doctor and physician, you'll get many opportunities 
a recent example is you know me along with my group of friends and mentors and teachers visited capitol hill right that's uh, that's a center where you can advocate for physicians and patients so we were representing american college of physicians we went there and we talked about important bills and we were able, you know we were actually trying to gain support for those bills so eventually they can become law so there are many great things you'll be able to do if you are interested here this is a land of opportunities opportunities will keep on coming to you it's up to you if you have to you know if you want to grab those opportunities or not so efforts are really appreciated here and then finally i would say career flexibility let's say after i finish my residency and now i want to go into admin part i can just do executive mba or just mba and finally do some admin work and informatics and physician advisor and physician leadership many roles you know just uh, in the healthcare itself you can be um, on netflix you can be you know be a doctor on netflix and proofread those scripts which are actually you know Uh, medical scenes and you can say hey this is accurate medicine this is inaccurate medicine there are actually jobs like that so there are many cool stuff which you can do outside of medicine so you have a lot of career flexibilities here and cons i i would say the the con first and foremost is money it will cost a lot of money and if you talk in inr it's going to cost around 20 to 25 lakhs if you are spending more than that you are probably spending somewhere which is not needed so just be careful where you are exactly spending your money invest in good resource i would highly recommend you you know checking usmle strike app you can download and watch a free video to see if that suits you but you know invest only in good resource not don't just keep on spending money everywhere and then second cons i would say um it is time consuming you will be you know at some point we'll where you'll be feeling totally exhausted and you might be feeling that you know what am i even doing it's a it's again you know it's very time consuming you may you may take one year to prepare for each step but again you will never ever regret of whatever you have prepared in your journey because that will always pay off it's very very important to understand that and then third is you know regardless of if you pass all the steps that doesn't guarantee a match so you have to prove yourself you have to have good scores you have to be you know involved in research united states clinical experience good letters of recommendation how you write your personal statement uh, most importantly how you are you are presenting yourself in interview and so entire match package is very very important as well and from this year onwards we are rolling out our services for personal statement cv editing as well as interview preparation services so please reach out to me on instagram on how you can enroll in those services as well and uh, finally i would say the spots are very very competitive right so you really have to prove yourself if you want to get into us residency in the end i would say i am here for your support because i was there at some point in your shoe so i exactly can understand how you are feeling right now so if you if you need any help please reach out to me on instagram dr.apurva_popat or you can also comment in the youtube below i'll be very very happy to help you and um, trust me believe me trust yourself believe yourself you will be able to do it just stay consistent and stay focused thank you